Hey girls, welcome back to Heatherly Heart, and I'm back, and I'm so excited. Um, I am reviewing a brush set in a new series that I'm going to call Trash or Treasure. So this is the brush set. Um, I'm going to have it linked below. This is a $10.99 Amazon brush set. There are 10 brushes, which makes these brushes $1.10 each. So they're dirty now because I just used them. You're going to see in the next segment, the, um, the uh, application segment. Um, but you're going to see, but that's the first time I used them. So I will tell you that I washed them. Um, before I use them, uh, I think any brush set you should definitely wash. They're in factories. You don't know what else is being produced in that factory. So you don't know the, the cleanliness of those factories. So when you get a brush set, no matter where it's from, you need to wash them and let them dry. Okay? They did come in an individual clear pack, which I've since thrown away, and then in a whole clear pack, like an envelope, and then they came individually um, in a clear pack as well. So all that's gone after I washed them. So I washed them and let them dry and then today I'm using them. I will say upon washing them that a couple, and I don't know which one it was, a couple of the more angled ones had, um, one of them had like six hairs that came out of it. The rest did not shed at all with washing, but you'll see in the demo and in the um, in my final thoughts on how that held up. So I'm going to kind of go over it. None of the brushes are labeled. Like there's no label. They have this gorgeous plastic. It's a heavier plastic though, but it's not metal. It's made to look like metal. Ombre unicorn look. They're the unicorn brush set. Um, they're reasonably weighted. This isn't the heaviest, best brush that I've ever held, but they're gorgeous y'all. And then they have like a rose gold feral. And then the um, brushes are white, tipped in pink. Um, I will say upon washing this with an antibacterial wash like I always do, I had no pink runoff, no pink, none of the dye faded, so that was really good. Um, okay, so let's go into what, and since they don't label the brushes, I'll just tell you what they kind of have said that they are, and I'm going to do my best guess. Um, because they're not labeled, and they weren't labeled on the packaging. So this says they have a powder brush, which I'm assuming is this. It's a tulip brush. It says they have an angled foundation and a flat foundation brush, which I'm assuming are these two. It says they have an uh, angled contour, which I'm assuming is this, and a blush brush. And because of the, y'all can see it's kind of domed, I assume that that's the blush brush. Um, the eyeshadows are a little more tricky to figure out because, if you, as you can see, these last three are very similar. Um, it's an angled fluffy eye brush, a cr fluffy crease brush, which I think this one is, and then all these are very similar. This has a little angle to it. So it's five fluffy crease brushes. Um, they've named them different things, and like I said, there's no name on there. So I believe you can use brushes for whatever you want to use them for, whatever works for you. But for the purposes of this demo video, I did try to use the brushes um, as best as I could guess for what they were, you know, what they were, and you'll see that. Um... What else? So that's the face brushes. You can see it's like um, beveled. It's really pretty, y'all. And the face brushes, of course, just from being bigger brushes, have a better weight to them. Okay, so now I'm going to get into the demo, and then I'll let you know my final thoughts. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, let's get some makeup on this face. I'm going to start with my pure primer. It's the under eye primer. I love it. I just put it anywhere I need extra moisture. It's supposed to be for under eyes, but whatever. So I'm going to tap that in. And I'm going to go in with my Becca Backlight Primer. Just because I kind of want glowy skin. I'm kind of doing a minimal look. I'm just doing enough that I can use all the or most of the brushes. Okie doke. So there's that. Okay. So I'm going to go and These are the two. I'm guessing I went over that. That they're not named in the intro. Um, or I will have. Future Heather is going to go over that in the intro. These are what I assume are the two foundation brushes because it has an angled foundation brush and a flat top. And these are what I assume those are. So I'm going to go in with the flat top for my foundation and the angle for my cream contour and highlight. So for foundation today, I'm going in with the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrate and Tint. It's just a tint. Um, I really like this for like no makeup makeup days and I kind of just draw it on it comes with this big um, like the Clinique perfecting one this big doe foot but this doesn't claim to be a um, concealer it's just a very light skin tone this may be a little light on me but I can always bronze it up okay so I'm gonna go in with that and then I'm gonna go in with the flat top 
Okay, I'm gonna start blending it in. Oh, these are very soft. This is the first time I've used them on my face, obviously. Yeah, I like that. It's blending in well, um, pretty quickly. And I did put a lot of that tint on my face just because it's such lightweight. But it's blending in pretty well. Yeah, I like this. It's not overly dense for a foundation brush. I do usually prefer them to be a little denser, but I do find it soft enough and dense enough both to, to really blend out that foundation. So you can see that foundation doesn't have a ton of coverage, but it blended it out beautifully. Okay, so next we are going to go into, this is the Catrice Contouring Duo Stick. I'm just gonna use this today to cream contour. And I'm gonna go in with the angled, what's called the angled foundation brush in this set to um, see if we can blend this out. I do kind of want to use this as a bronzer too, so, because it is warm. Okay, let's see what we done did, y'all. Okay, so let's go in with the flat top foundation brush, according to what my best guess, and let's see how we can blend this out. Oh, that's blending that out pretty. I probably put too much, but we can go in and salvage that by powdering and blending it. Oh, my hair is getting, come on now. So that's blending out nicely y'all and this the way that it's um, shaped I think it's good for the like contours of my face you know I did go a little ham but we'll clean that up with the foundation brush that actually is blending it out so nicely I like it so much better than the um, um, beauty blender or a makeup sponge for that contour because I was having problems with it it was actually creamy. It always was creamy, but it was kind of blending away. And this brush, it definitely keeps it where you put it. I mean, it blends. You can see it's spreading because it's very creamy, but we're going to fix that. I like this. I like it for under my chin. I like that. Okay, I'm going to go back in and kind of tame this a little bit because we kind of went ham with it. But I like that. So this is the flat top foundation brush that has the um quiet mocha stop sorry y'all i'm filming today and my dogs are out so that mocha please stop okay i'm gonna go back in and fill this in a little bit yeah i like the way i like the way this fits right here i like it and they do have a um contour brush but i'm gonna use that for powders I like it. Mocha, stop. Sorry, y'all. Okay. So, in order... Oh, oh, I didn't do it. Okay, let me go in and set this. And I'm going to use one of the eyeshadow brushes to blend this in, I think. The, um... Not set it. Come on, Heather. Get with it. The um, other side of this Catrice stick has a highlighter, and I'm going to go in and do it. I'm going to use the fluffiest eyeliner, the fluffiest eye brush. I don't know which one it is. Oh, this just broke. Child, sometimes when I try to film, it's like hot mess express. It's like life. You know, some days you have really good days and everything is like going your way and you're walking and you're like, you're the, you're the woman. And then some days it's like, holy shit, what is happening? I can't even uh, human today. Okay. I'm going with this highlighter. And I'm going to go in with this little, it's the fluffiest eyeshadow brush. Again, I'm just guessing at what they're all called because they're not named. Um, so I'm going to go in and blend this. See how this works for us. That works good. It's a little, it's definitely meant to be an eyeshadow brush though. Like I wouldn't say it's my favorite way to blend out concealer. And I would use that, um, the foundation brush. But I do, this is barely lightening on me because I'm so pale right now. And I do kind of want to keep it light. So if I go in with a foundation brush, it'll just darken it too much. But I like that. Let's go in and blend the edges. 
so far that's so good. These are $10. They're like a dollar. I told y'all they're like a dollar ten a brush. Okay. That was not the best now that I'm looking at it. It's kind of creasing. Yeah. I think that we should keep that for eye eyeshadow. Okay. So I'm going to go in and set all this. And this is what I'm assuming the powder brush is. It's like a tulip brush. So I'm going to go in and just set all that under my eye. This is the pure foreign one. Um, press powder and light. So I'm going to go in and set my face. And I like this powder brush. I will tell you, I think I'm going to like it better for all over bronzing because it's a tulip. And I like my powder brushes a little bit bigger, fluffier, and just bigger, you know. But it's getting the job done. And it's all of these brushes, y'all. They're extremely soft. Okay. So now, they're calling this an angled contour brush and a blush brush. So I assume they're meaning this for contour and this for blush. So we're going to try to use, we're going to assume, but and try to use everything how they're saying to use it. Most everything. Okay, so I think this is what they're calling the angled contour brush. So I'm going to go in. This is one of my favorite drugstore um, bronzer highlight and blush palettes. It's my Makeup Revolution in the color... Fair. It is amazing. Every color in here is good. So I'm going to go into the bronzer color with what I assume they're calling. Oh yeah, that's good. If it's right here, I like this and it's dense. You know, this might have been the, this might have been the foundation brush because it's denser than this angled one. Y'all, I don't know. I'm guessing. Um, it's my first time using these brushes and I don't think you have to use brushes the way it was for what they're called, what they're saying they're made for, obviously. I was trying to do that for y'all, just to show y'all, you know, what they're saying they are for, if they are usable for that. But I always find brushes and make my own uses, so. But the denseness of this I like for contour, but I do think this is the one they consider to be foundation. So I'll have to change that in my intro. Hey, that's pretty. I ain't mad at that. Very pretty. I like this brush. I like these brushes. Okay, so let's go into what I'm assuming the blush brush is. I don't know. We haven't used it yet, so we're going to use it. I'm going to go into this real pretty blush color. Then I'm going to stamp it on. Oh, yeah, this is a good blush brush. I'm going to stamp it on right here. That's pretty. This blush is pretty, too, y'all, though. Stamp it on. Stamp it on. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna go in and blend everything with my powder brush. Okay. And then, since there's not a designated highlight brush, I guess I'm gonna go into this, although it does have cream product on it, but I'm gonna go into this and highlight. This is one of the fluffier eyeliner, I mean eyeshadow brushes, although they're all fluffy. None of them, there's no flat shader, which I got. Well, I will have gotten into in the intro. That's the one thing this is lacking as a total brush set. So, but this works perfectly for highlighter, y'all. And this is what I used unsuccessfully to, um, this is the one I used unsuccessfully to blend in my concealer. Yeah, that looked, that worked good. Okay. I'm going to go back in and kind of blend that with my blush brush. Pretty. Okay. So, so far so good. Okay. These are the brushes I have left and they're all considered, um, eyeshadow, fluffy eyeshadow brushes, some angled, some flat top, some, uh, stipple and some, you can see the difference. And this one's kind of rounded. Um, I'm going to go in with a more rounded, fluffy one, and I'm going to do my eyeshadow, and I have been doing the simplest eyeshadow looks. This is the pure 4-in-1 pressed mineral makeup um, that I used on my face, but this is in a much darker color. This color is called Golden Dark, and I've been going in. I do not like it as a bronzer because it's too orange on my skin tone when I'm fair. It looks much better when I have a fake tan on. But what I do like it for, y'all, is it makes the prettiest kind of... You know how it's kind of all the rage to have the baby poop color 
eyeshadow like camel um, Bobby Brown makes the color camel that's constantly sold out this is it okay and I got this on sale buy one get one free on Ulta they're all the time having sales so I got this huge what I'm gonna use as an eyeshadow that'll last me 10 forevers um, two for one so it's regularly 2950 but if two for one what is that $15 just about and this will last me 10 years so I like to go on the so what I do just for a simple look is I just go in the crease and I put it all over the lid and these brushes are great for this. Like I said, there's no flat shader, but in this look, the reason I chose this look again today is because we don't need it. Okay. And that's it. I mean, that's it for the color. Okay. So then I guess I'm going to go into this more angled brush and try to use the tip of it to try to go under because it is a little bigger than I'd like to use. Again, this doesn't have a more dense shader brush that we could be using or a packing brush, but I'm gonna go with just the tip, and it's working, and these brushes are extremely soft. So I do know I'll get a very soft, blown out look, but it's gonna go much lower than I would normally do on a day look, only because I don't have the control. So again, the one thing that this brush is missing, if it was a complete set, it would need to have a, um, it would need to have a packing brush or more firm brush, but I've been over that and over that, so. We went a little smoky today for a daytime look, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this next brush that we haven't used yet. And on an everyday basis, I do this, and it's so easy. I go into whatever color that I used for my highlight, and I do my brow bone. Stop it, Mocha. I do my brow bone. Mocha May, stop. I do my brow bone in my inner corner with my finger. Okay. Then I need to do my brows and my mascara and my eyeliner and my lips. So I'm gonna go off camera and do those and then come back and give you girls my final thought. Okay, girls, I'm back. I did the rest of my makeup, put on my lips, which is one of my all-time favorites right now. It's super natural, dose of color, dose of color and the color supernatural and I'm waiting on it to dry down so I can put my lime light bliss gloss on top of it it makes the perfect like beigey nude it's gorgeous like peachy nude okay so let's talk about these brushes shall we so um, here they all are and I think for $10.99 it's great I do want to show y'all after using them and I hope it's showing up you can see it right here let me look real close see those little hairs that are coming out some of the brushes are experienced some some shedding and I'm able just to pull the brush hair out but once I get it pulled out um, it's fine and it's just the face brushes I haven't noticed any of that on the eye brushes so I think for the price for the set um, it is well worth it again um, again I think there's too many of the same type eye brushes I mean these four are very similar the only difference is this one is slanted you know what I mean this one's a little bit different because it's it's rounded which is very good for like getting increased work so I wish instead of all like I wish they had a slanted brush and a more stipply brush and then put like a flat shader brush and a pencil brush with a spoolie on the end I think that would have made this a complete set um, but overall I'm glad with I'm glad with it I'm happy with it I do think that of course I'm gonna have to have to add a flat shader brush and a spoolie because that's just what I prefer with my makeup and a pencil brush but this after I add those three things, this will be a complete set. So for $10.99, I think they're gorgeous. I think they're fun. I think they're highly effective. There is minimal shedding. Um, and I wish that they had switched a couple of these brushes out because I think they're kind of redundant. But overall, I think it's great. So I'm going to have these brushes listed um, down below. And I'm going to be using them over time for the next couple weeks exclusively. Just adding in those couple of brushes that I need to complete a look. And so I will let y'all know. I'll pin a comment in a couple weeks and let y'all know how they held up um, after multiple washes. So I think this is a good, I think it's a treasure. Um, and with a little bit of caveat, you are going to have to add your own brushes. But overall, for the price, for for the look, for I think they're a treasure. I mean, there's no way this is trash. Um, so 
Okay, so that's it. Um, I have to go film the intro now. Future Heather is going to film the intro to start this off, and then I have to go do a couple more videos. But I'm going to be back with Trash or Treasure. I'm going to be back with Wear Test Wednesdays. I'm going to be back with, um, I have a lot of lists going on. So if there's anything y'all want to see, Full Face Fridays, there's all kinds of stuff. And I'm, my goal is to upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday because I'm going to start treating YouTube like a job, even though I don't get paid to be here. Because when I treat it like a hobby, my job takes over and weeks go by and I don't post. So y'all let me know what y'all want to see as far as like what you want me to do a wear test on, what brand you want me to do a full face on, um, motivational Mondays. So there's going to be some motivational Mondays like thrown in there. So what you want to talk about or what you want to, you know, hear me, I can research and then talk to y'all about it. So let me know. I'm so glad to have you and I will see you. This is Wednesday. This is going up. I will see you girls on Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.